Peninsula Constabulary. During my service, I was awarded several letters of commendation. I received a Chief Constable's commendation for outstanding service and was the recipient of a bravery award from the Prime Minister at that time, which I received at number 10 Downing Street. Thank you. I've not come here to speak to you today. I've come here to speak to them. Yes. The police officers of this country. On the 19th of October 2018, and I hope you are listening, Former Chief Crown Prosecutor Mr. Nasir Afwas stated in an interview to the BBC Radio 4 that in 2008 the Labour government under Prime Minister Gordon Brown and Home Secretary Jackie Smith sent a circular to all police forces in this country saying that as far as these young girls who are being exploited in towns and cities, we believe that they have made an informed choice about their sexual behaviour. And therefore, it is not for you police officers to get involved in. Did you know that? No. No. Shame on you! 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 The child victims of rape, torture, and trafficking, which ended in sometimes in instances of murder, were purposely ignored by the British. The inquiry into these horrific crimes against children lay blamed squarely on the management of the social services, the so-called care organisations and the police, when in reality it was the British government who willfully allowed British children as young as 11 years old to become prey to vicious Pakistani Muslim rape. Gangs. To be repeatedly raped, to be branded with hot irons, to have their tongue nailed to a table, and then to silence their desperate voices with a blanket ban on investigation. Former Home Secretary Jackie Smith is now chairman or chairwoman of a charity formed to support girls at risk of gang violence. You can't make that up. In my opinion, Gordon Brown and Jackie Smith should be serving life in prison. Yes. Since when do the police not investigate the rape, torture and trafficking of children? Since when can underage children make informed choices about their sexual behaviour? And where is the inquiry into Gordon Brown and Jackie Smith's involvement? Yes. On the 18th of May this year in Oldham, the police escorted a large group of angry, masked Muslim men who were screaming obscenities and Allahu Akbar into an estate where a peaceful group of men, women and children were gathered to hear speeches at a legal political rally. The group of Muslim men <clears throat> attacked the, the people at the political rally with rocks, bricks, bottles and scissors. Video footage clearly shows police officers not reacting to the mob of angry men throwing missiles into a police peaceful crowd. Police officers at the scene were not attempting to stop the Muslim men from committing acts of violence against innocent people like you. Yes. The violence became so bad that the young children present at the rally were driven away from the scene in a van with a bloody police escort. 
Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame. Thank you. 